For somebody else to beat you because Boston was not able to do that. I mean, Steph slit their throat games four, five, and six. You know, I mean, it was it was ridiculous. So um, I, they're absolutely contenders, um, but all it takes is one of their three elder statesmen to not be, you know, a hundred percent and they're mm. back out of that conversation. So I, I think their margin for error is a little bit um, thinner than people might acknowledge, but I think that they deserve to be kind of propped up as the favorites to win the West again. They earned that. Okay. Uh, the Brooklyn Nets, can they win the title in 2023? Title for what? <laughs> Come on, Chase. Are they even going to make the playoffs? The thing is, <laughs> If those three are on the roster for the full season, like, I mean, I can't say 100% no. Like, KD might still be the best player in the, like, in the league this upcoming year. Like, if K- no Kyrie issue of him being able to play every night, like, that's something that's there. Still a, a deepish team. Still a lot of guys we like there. Ben Simmons could be just an all-time great player for them this year. He could blend in perfectly with this group. Well, I'm we not... Know he's rested. Well, that's true. I'm right there with you. Like, I don't... I don't think so. I don't think they can win the title, but I also would not be surprised if they're a really good team. Just if they stay together, if this happens and they just don't trade any of these guys, I think it's just going to be too hard for them not to be a really good basketball team. It's just too much talent, too too much top end talent in the regular season. You could talk me into like an absolute best case scenario of them making the conference finals, but yeah. you really have to twist my arm to get that far. Um, they lose Bruce Brown. Um, you know, they lose Dragic. Yeah. They lose Andre Drummond. These aren't huge names, but these are guys they were really counting on when push came to shove in the postseason. Like they are in, even down the stretch in the playing games. They wanted to play those guys minutes. And if I was wondering, well, a healthy Joe Harris, maybe like they're still they're getting some guys back. Patty Mills is back. Um, Cam Thomas yeah. is a year older. Royce O'Neal is now on the roster. Like I'd, I, they lost some guys, but I think they still are pretty deep. They still have a lot of guys. That yeah, like. to me, it's the they're the classic paper Tigers team. You know, like mm. it looks amazing on paper. Put them into 2K. You're winning a lot of games on 2K, <laughs> mm-hmm. but KD is going to miss 25 games because he has the last two seasons. Kyrie's going to miss half the season because he always comes up with a new reason not to play. Ben Simmons, is he in the NBA? I'm not sure. I appreciate him <laughs> showing up to Summer League. It was a nice cameo. I would appreciate mm-hmm. it more if instead of just – I mean, during the playoffs, Chase – he showed up. You remember how they were like making all this hype? Ben Simmons is going to come back during the yes. middle of the series. He gets on the court to do a pregame warm up, mm-hmm. but he doesn't shoot. His pregame warm up was passing. Mm-hmm. So he's passing the ball to assistant coaches around the perimeter for like 10 minutes. How am I supposed to take this seriously? This is uh, what <laughs> are we doing? Walkthroughs, one on zero walkthroughs. Why don't you just put the chair out there that they use during the pre draft workouts? And maybe you can fake a chair out. Like, what are we talking about? Shoot the basketball during pregame warmups, you know? It's, uh, so don't even get me started on that. You can you can tell my frustration. Mm-hmm. I don't see them being able to have the chemistry camaraderie. They certainly don't have the coaching. Um, I think I w- my number one hope for this summer is KD can actually successfully force his way out and get to a better situation. Not totally sure that that's going to happen. Um I think I was so disappointed in their lack of resolve in the playoffs, Kevin included, Kyrie included, in terms of how they played in games three and four. It's like they gave it their best shot in game one, lost, and just packed it in. And to me, that's it's hard to recover your competitive spirit after you've kind of sacrificed it, right? It's like that old thing about, oh, it it takes a lifetime to build a reputation and five minutes to break it or whatever. It's like... Mm -hmm. Kind of the same thing goes with your will to win. And Hmm. I I like their other uh, additions that you've mentioned way more on paper than in reality. You know, they need some dogs to play defensively. They need some people to make KD's life easier. They just don't really have a lot of those guys. And um, they just seem to me like the classic team that gets propped up because of their top end talent that winds up disappointing. And it's sad. This is not how I wanted Kevin's career to go, Um, especially, you know, ever since he left Golden State. It's been pretty much a mess. Uh, but that's how I see them. They just have such a burden of proof. You know, I mean, last year was such a mess. They've got to undo all of that to win back trust. And honestly, they could be up 10 points in game four of the finals ready to complete a sweep. And mm-hmm. I still would not believe in them. <laughs> it's just that. I mean, that's how much they torch my trust. I'm okay with it. Um, the Nugget. Nugget.